Good morning. Two weeks in a row. There's got to be a record somehow. Uh, anyway, I warned you. I warned you last week. You'd see more of us. If you would, turn in your Bibles to Colossians chapter 2. Last week, for those that were here and would remember that, you know, I mentioned about my life being kind of in a turmoil with lots of things going on and, you know, things being difficult of my own making and other things that are not. I'm not sure which one wins, probably my own making. But, um, you know, I'm reminded, last week the, the verse that I used was, was um, Acts 20.32, um, committing us to God and the word of his grace, which is able to build us up. So, in Colossians chapter 2, kind of in that sort of vein, I want to start at, at um, verse 6, I'll read a few verses here. Colossians 2, 6 and on. As you have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him. How did you receive Christ? By grace through faith and plus nothing. Rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as you have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Here's the target verse. And ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. Continuing, in whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. And this is, is our identity. If you want some more details on that, read Romans chapter 6. Buried with him in baptism, wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God, who hath raised him from the dead. And you, being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Our identity is in Christ. You know, I, I, again, I reiterate that my life is a bit of a turmoil right now with lots of things going on. And there are days when I just have to stop and thank the Lord for His grace. And it's this kind of stuff here, when I read this, that helps me understand that it's not what I've done, it's what He's done. It's faith in His operation. And faith in his faithfulness to his operation on the cross, his work on the cross. And, you know, like I said, there are just some days when all I can do is say, thank you, Lord, for your grace, because there's not a thing in me. There's nothing good in me in my flesh, as Paul talks about. And you're forced, if you're going to be honest with the scriptures and you're going to be honest with yourself, that when you analyze it, you know, you have to be cross-eyed. You have to look at the cross. You've got to focus on the cross because we never can measure up, not for, a, and not for a nanosecond of any moment, at our best moment, whatever that might look like. And so we're complete in Christ. When, whenever we're looking out at circumstances or looking in the mirror at ourselves and whichever or both, that we're complete in Christ because of what he's done and the great love that God loves us in that identifying that our greatest need is, is salvation from sins not health and wealth and prosperity and, and all that business. You know, God's grace is sufficient for us. You know, if we need money, go get a second job. You know, if, if uh, you know, need something else, mind those things. But what's important is what God says is important, and it's, it's Christ and what he's done for us. And so when you're out there and life's hitting you, think on these verses. Think on the cross. Look at the cross. Be focused on the cross and what was accomplished there. And I'm preaching to myself as I'm talking to y'all because I need to be reminded of these things every day, you know. Um, I don't have things figured out sometimes. And so it's his grace. It's his mercy. It's his love. And it's that cross that where everything was accomplished. And just let that be your goal and your focus when, when life happens is the cross. Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for your word and the faithfulness to your word that you've, you've magnified it above all your name and that it's, it's trustworthy, you're trustworthy, and the work of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, on the cross of Calvary is enough and nothing else will do for you or for us. 
And we thank you for it in Christ's name. Amen.